So I want to do a few videos that are kind of about Tic Tacs. So it's important to be really good at Tic Tacs before you try to do this trick. So practice just kind of walking around with your board. Honestly, this is what I would call walking the dog. I know it's not the trick, but we're going to get to that. But this is a pretty cool trick, just kind of walking around with the board. You can even tic-tac ride a little bit, then tic-tac the other way ride a little bit. You could add maybe some little manuals in there or something. This is a fun way to just cruise around and have fun on your skateboard. So when I do this tic-tac, I'm thinking about my shoulders a lot. So when I move the back side of my board towards the front, my shoulders are kind of going the opposite way. Watch how my shoulders and my board are going in opposite directions and I'm really using my midsection. I'm really like burning calories in my stomach and using my core. I'm really, I'm engaging my core during this. It's probably a good ab exercise, really. It's like rip sticking. So when you're doing something like this, you wanna have a kind of a wider stance on your board. You wanna have your feet spread out a little bit. You don't want them really close together. The closer your feet are together, the easier it is to shoot out. You can practice it on the carpet or in the grass if you're a little scared that you might shoot out. So after you're really good at that, the way I'd like to go into walking the dog is the little jump in. So you're pivoting around, but you're jumping around too. So I pay good money for my shoes. I don't want to destroy the sole immediately. And the hardest part of this trick is sliding your foot around on the grip tape because the grip tape is so abrasive it destroys your shoes. You could get DKL or you could just not have grip tape in the middle of your board if you just do freestyle stuff, but I can feel it destroying my shoes. So I like to do a little jump and that's a good beginner step to this trick. Just instead of doing the little slidey thing, just jump, turn your body and then do that kick turn. I've done a couple videos where I talked about this trick or taught this to other people, but I didn't know it was like a beginner step to walking the dog. Honestly, I didn't even know what walking the dog was. I know on, with a yo-yo, it's like rolling it on the ground or something. So I understand this trick now. There are two positions, this position and this position. So this front foot is straight both ways. My back foot is either perpendicular to it in the back or in the front. So. What I'm doing is taking my front foot and turning the whole board around and I'm taking my front foot from here to back here as I spin. My heel on my back foot is lifting up. You can kind of see how the red part of my shoe is rubbing off onto the board. So my shoe is slowly dying. So if you want to see somebody that's super uncomfortable with freestyle skating, teach freestyle tricks very slowly, you've come to the right place. I think that's the key to this trick. Go really slow. Just slowly get faster and faster, and then you can look like you're more comfortable on your board after you get really good at it. I'm not going to take the time to get really good at this trick because I like having soles on my shoe, and I feel like all I'm doing is rubbing the sole against the grip tape. I can feel layers of my sole just like turning into dust and flying away in the wind. Personally, I think jumping looks better. I think the sliding around kind of looks like you're dancing. It's a little bit more graceful maybe, but I think the jumping actually looks more powerful. So either way you do this, the main thing you have to worry about along with a lot of skateboarding tricks is don't land with your feet too close together and don't spin it around and then put your feet right next to each other because then it's harder to balance this way and you could shoot the board that way or that way. You want to have like a decently wide stance on the board. The wider your stance, the better your balance is going to be. That's why having a longer wheelbase makes you feel more stable on your board. That's another reason, and that's why long boards sometimes are easier for people to ride. And penny boards can be harder because they're smaller. For me, long boards are more stable, and bigger boards are more stable. But I can understand people who would feel the opposite. Sometimes a bigger board is harder to control. With a smaller board, 
you can stop easily by just doing this. With the bigger long board, sometimes it's harder to step off or do something like this to slow down or stop. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I've got tons of videos on this page. Vert skating, mini ramp skating, freestyle stuff, manuals, anything you can think of, uh, you know, reviews on skateboarding products. So if you're interested in any of that stuff, scroll through my channel, check out my other videos, and hit that subscribe button because I've got a lot more videos to come. Thanks for watching.